Okay, let's talk about the things that you need for this project. You need a measuring tape, you need a ruler, you need a scissors, chalk, and fusible interface. Actually, you will also need the material that you'll be working with. So that's a sorting material. And to start with, I'll fold wool and I'll be getting the most important measurement that I think is important in this project is the distance from one nipple to the other. You need to take the nipple to nipple measurements for your clients because that distance darts will fall and it makes the work really look good and neat if they are placed on the right and correct place. Uh, please note guys, you will need to measure from shoulder to start of bust because it's a sweetheart bustier top that we're making and shoulder to mid bust. Also, you need to measure the shoulder to the end of bust because we are not using a dress form or a muslin to guide us with the certain measurements. We have to take all the measurements necessary measurements manually to ensure a perfect fit everyone wants a perfect fit i'm all about the perfect fit So now with our client's measurements, we're now going to insert them on what we're doing now. So the bust is 33. I fold the tape in half and I will fold it in half again. I don't usually do the divide by four because my math is... Um, not too good. <laughs> I'm just joking. And we also get the waist measurements as well. So this project, I'm actually using client's measurement. That, those measurements can be my measurements. Yeah, so with the measurements, you insert them and ensure you add an allowance to the measurements that you get. So I was adding an allowance there. You also need to measure, is it the upper bust? Like how the sweetheart is going to be, the top is going to be outlined. It's really important because sometimes it will be way too big on the upper part. So take note of that measurement I'm going to put there something something so this is the exciting part creation of darts you mark one inch on each side and from the midpoint you connect to the one inch that you've marked on both sides so I'm just trying to cut it out and show you guys properly so that you understand. I'm all about you understanding. This is the reason why we're creating this tutorial so that you understand. Yeah. Now that I turn it over, let us continue. So from the one inch that I've marked, I'll connect it to the midpoint. There we go and on the other side as well 
So yep. you have to cave it out. Don't outline the line straight. And also on the end busts, we'll mark one inch on both. I'm sure you can see it's coming up good and please take note these measurements vary depending on the size of the pastry the bust size will determine how many inches you're supposed to mark and also the waist size of a person for example uh, the person was a size the bust was size 47 you cannot get the same one inch on the bust the start of bust and the end of bust okay are we clear are we together yep so I'm just smoothing that out looks good now we cut it out I leave a bit of uh, some material in cutting it out yep 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 it looks good yep that looks good now watch 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 I'll now sew these parts together but first I will cut the back part with the help of the front part I'll trace the back part and the only difference is going to be the zip allowance the back part will have a zip allowance and also the neckline how you want it to fall So now we'll be creating the dots on the back pits. Not much is required here. I actually mark 0 0.5 on each side and make a dot. So I'll split it open. When sewing, I will make sure that the 1.5 is sewn. How can I say calculated for? but you know what I mean and the front part I will press the fusible interface I actually do it the whole front part I've seen others just putting halfway of the front part but for me I prefer doing the whole thing and it looks good on the back part however I don't eye on the interface the whole thing as you can see here it's only the upper part to keep it firm and looking good this works well for me and the front part is done we have to iron it so that it looks good that's the lining I'll be using the same material as the lining. There we go. Iron, iron, iron. Oh my god, hope that steam is not going in my camera. Now that I'm editing, I've noticed that. You see how it looks after we've ironed and just trim it out. I'll go ahead and sew the two together. I just wrapped the material, the leftover material on my mannequin. We are done. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Bye bye.